In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own blockchain projects really fast with money Legos. All right, so this is a really cool new uh, project that I've been playing around with myself and I wanted to share it with you today. Okay, so uh, before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from DAP University and on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. All right, so uh, let's get into this. Money Legos. So what is this all about? Well, essentially, um, you know, one of the biggest use cases in blockchain technology right now uh, are is called DeFi or open finance, whatever you want to call it. All right. Basically, it's taking existing financial products and porting them over to the blockchain, like uh, savings, loans, derivatives, trading, stable coins, all this kind of stuff. Right. So basically, uh, there are a lot of different DeFi protocols out there that govern each of these individual pieces, all right? So, you know, for example, there are protocols for lending, there's protocols for trading, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you can make your own projects out of each of these different pieces, all right? So hence, uh, Legos. You can take a, a lending piece and plug it into a trading piece, for example. All right. So you might have heard about flash loans or something like that. Well, that's what a flash loan essentially is, is the ability to do a leverage trade without having to borrow. You can borrow money for a leverage trade with uh, $0 down. And there's protocols that allow you to do that. And then you have a trading protocol that allows you to execute the actual trade itself. And you plug these things in together uh, to, to make your own app that, that does this. Okay. And this is like, this is what Money Legos is all about, taking these little building blocks and piecing them together. All right. This is a library called Money Legos. All right. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. And you can just plug this into your project, start pulling Legos out of the box and sticking them together so that you can, you know, create your own app, your own scripts, uh, really whatever you want to do, you know, the, the sky's the limit. Uh, you're, you're only limited by your imagination and what's actually possible on the blockchain. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, pull this into your project right now and get started and uh, get started really quickly. That's one of the big values here. Okay. So it's really easy to get started. Uh, you can look on the quick start page. So if you have a truffle project uh, or you are just running, writing your own uh, Node.js script, you just go to your terminal and type in npm install dash dash save. All right. And then you paste in uh, this right here, you know, def study DeFi money Legos. All right. It's like that. So I've already done this. I'm not going to uh, do it, you know, again, in this tutorial. Um, essentially, I've got a truffle project running here that uh, swaps tokens on Uniswap. And I can um, use this inside of the scripts for my Truffle project to actually perform a real swap live on the mainnet, all right? So uh, they've got some basic example usage here. Uh, you just import uh, Legos from this library and it gives you the uh, ABI and the address for the smart contracts that you wanna use. And then you're able to just use them inside JavaScript. So that's for the front end, the client side. Uh, if you're building a user interface or a script, for example, that, that needs to talk to smart contracts, that's how you do it. And if you're working with the back end with Solidity smart contracts, they also support that too. So you just import um, the uh, library inside of your Solidity smart contracts inside your Truffle project, for example, just like this, all right? If you have you know Node installed, you just, it's all node package and import it in your smart contracts like this. And now what's really cool is they support a lot of really popular DeFi protocols and tokens out of the box, okay? So you can go look at their integrations here. Um, let's just see, like Aave, for example. So Aave is one of the platforms or protocols that allows you to do flash loans. They, they have a lending pool where you can borrow lots of money to do these leverage trades with flash loans. So if you want to do one of those, all you have to do um, is import it into your project like this and get started. They even show you examples. It looks really similar to the Aave documentation, all right? Uh, they show you how to do it in JavaScript as well. Uh, if you want to use compound finance in your project, et cetera, et cetera. And they also just support a lot of different uh, ERC-20 tokens out of the box. So if you just want to pull an ERC-20 token into your project, like DAI, for example, DAI is a really common one. This is a stable coin, a cryptocurrency whose price doesn't change. You just import DAI in your project and boom, you're ready to go. So let me tell you what the alternative is. <laughs> the alternative is you have to go to Etherscan and look up the DAI stable currency, for example. Uh, so DAI, 
right here. You have to find the smart contract ABI, right? Uh, let's see here. Contract uh, ABI. You have to copy all this information. You have to copy the address. Come back to your project. If you're using multiple DeFi pro protocols, you have to find every single smart contract, their addresses, put them together to create your own. And if you're using multiple tokens, same thing. Like, so, let's say you're, yeah, you have an exchange that you're working with that supports lots of tokens. It can get really crazy. So that's one huge value add, right? Is it imports all of the uh, smart contracts for you. And we'll see this in action here more in a minute because we're actually going to use the Uniswap protocol. I'll show you here in a second. That's the documentation down here. Um, but the other big value is they all the examples that they give you here in the documentation. So if you just want to do a flash loan, for example, they, well, they show you how to do it right here with their documentation examples, right? If you want to do a really sophisticated uh, swap on Uniswap, a, a, a exchange, um, an instant exchange, it'll show you how to do it right here. All right. So you can just look at examples, um, how to do it in JavaScript. If you want to swap Ethereum, Ether for DAI cryptocurrency, for example, um, you can just do it like this. All right. So I'm going to show you, uh, how you can set this up in your own project and take advantage of this. Uh, so I've got a script here. All right. So here's an example script inside my travel project where I do a swap. All right. I swap Ether for DAI. And, um, there's so much ceremony involved to making this happen without the money Legos library. And I'm going to show you how you can, you know, remove a lot of this complexity, a lot of the setup time, a lot of the headaches by just using their library. Okay. So, um, like I said, you have to go like, look up all this information on Etherscan. Um, you have to look up their ABIs, look up their addresses, you have to paste these into your project or maybe like, put them into different files and import them manually into your travel project. It's just a lot of extra work. Okay. But with, um, let's see your money Legos, for example, once you install it, you can just, uh, go to your project and import it from the top like this. All right. Basically you can just say like, you know, import Legos from money Legos. And then instead of, you know, having to get the ABIs like this, you can just basically say, um, let's see here. Legos ERC 20 ABI. Let's just say ERC 20 die. And then also the, um, the die address. All right. You could just do this address. All right. And that would remove all need for this. So same thing here. You could basically just say Legos Uniswap exchange ABI and then exchange address. All right, and that removes the need for all this extra code that you have to look up and write yourself. And that takes like, you know, maybe a dozen lines of code down to two lines of code, which is pretty awesome. All right, and then here's another thing that makes it really nice. So like how Uniswap works, for example, is it works with multiple uh, exchanges. So let's say you have a token, you wanna to trade multiple different cryptocurrencies. Let's say you wanna trade uh, DAI, you wanna trade another ERC20 token like 0x, for example. We well, have to use a different exchange for each one of those. So like token A, token B, token C, all right. And then um, you also have a factory that governs these. Okay, so basically whenever you want to exchange Ethereum for DAI, you have to use this exchange. If you want to look at exchange GOX, you have to use this exchange, et cetera, et cetera. And when you want to know like which exchange to use, you have to ask the factory and it will tell you the address of each of these. So then you have to go look that up on Etherscan too and put it back in your project. So with Money Legos, it makes it a lot easier. You can basically just go in here they have a really good example where you can basically just look at the Uniswap factory and then ask it which uh, exchange to use. It'll just determine it from this function here. And then you instantly have the exchange um, in JavaScript that you can work with to actually perform a swap. And it also handles like swaps both ways, uh, Ethereum to ERC-20 and also ERC-20 to Ethereum. And it supports multiple ERC-20 tokens, like I said, like DAI, 0x, all kinds. All right, you can go to their GitHub and look at all this stuff in there. So here's the GitHub, for example. You can see everything they support. Uh, we can go in here, let's browse around the source. All right, so uh, here's all the ERC-20 tokens. You can go inside of here um, and see the ABIs. All right, 
Here's the basic ERC20 JSON, all right, that you can do your trades with. Uh, let's see here. Here's all the tokens that they have, right? Ethereum, BAT, DAI, REP, SI, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, so you can also look at the other protocols that they have, like Compound, uh, Aave, Maker, et cetera, et cetera, all right? So um, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you liked this. Uh, go ahead and check this out. I'll put the GitHub link down in the description below. I'll put the um, documentation down in the description below. Here are your Legos <laughs> that you can start using to build your own projects. All right. So again, hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can um, become blockchain developers. And if you like this video and you want to take the next step to becoming a blockchain master, um, I can show you how to do exactly that step by step. All right. So head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp in order to get started. Until next time, Thanks for watching Dapp University.